what's up? Chisholm Jam back, part 26. You hear that crazy music? I don't know if, uh... Oh, I can hear it. Oh, you can hear it. I can smell it. I can it. definitely hear it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hire it just a, a tinge. Okay. Uh, but that's right. It's impromptu day. This was not uh, in the cards for us, but we're doing it. That's right. What's this? What's going on? Oh. Chaos and madness. Oh, that's right. I forgot we saw um, we saw Rose's dead body. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. His he pants. farts. Oh. <laughs> so close. Same area. Couldn't keep it in his pants. <laughs> uh, it was too much to spare. It was too much to bear. <laughs> what? Is that blood? It can't be. Bro, how are they just now, like... No, not even just now. How is she still confused what blood is? <laughs> Why is it pink? <laughs> Body discovery announcement? Does that mean someone's in that what? press? Ooh. <laughs> the one who's in the hangar, the only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaido. It must be one of them. What? Either Kokichi or Kaido is dead? Look! His jacket! Huh? Those clothes! Right, yeah, 100%. They're Kaido's. What did you say? Then the one in the hydraulic presses. <laughs> no, it's not possible. It can't be! <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during this class trial. That's what the killing's That's what the killing game's all about, baby! Oh. Now, Just to make up for my fuck up. And so it's past the seven second mark. I'm good. I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Nice. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. Plus, we're like on the penultimate trial. So, That's right. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. Sag. <laughs> I like this little beat change with this song. You know, that little <laughs> at the start of it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Sounds like shit. <laughs> <laughs> We have to investigate, so the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue? If the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving. That's right. It means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. What was that? He said it better than you, bro. He did. If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Shido? Real quick. I was actually going to say this to you earlier, because I was supposed to say this to you the last time we streamed. The reason I- well, me and Prof were talking because we were doing trade, like, Pokemon trade stuff. But, November, it's officially, mostly like 95% official. November 4th to the 14th, Prof is coming back to America. Oh my god! So there you go. So we gotta hang out with Prof at our old college that was a dorm and is now a bar. Okay. So there you go. I'll be there. There you go. Uh, but yeah, just he doesn't know specifically which days he'll be in Alaska City. Okay. Uh, he's going to be in upstate Alaska. <laughs> upstate there you go. Alaska? Because that's where his family is. Oh, I just came back from there. There's nothing to see. No, he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You were having, uh, you were doing flights in. Uh, yeah, I was doing flights in Siberia. Your old college turned into a bar. Uh, the dorm. So it used to be a brothel back in like the 70s 80s or whatever then it turned into apartments where my mom actually lived for a little bit and then my really? college yeah it's so weird how that happened when she turned 18 she bought an apartment to live there not bought an apartment rented a place uh, and then however many years later I ended up uh, sneaking into that building for a full year so yeah that's there. when it became a brothel again <laughs> 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 they don't call us brothel anymore <laughs> nothing yet Thank you, bro. That was the lob in the gym I was looking for. No, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaido could die. It has to be a lie. <laughs> I don't like green eggs in him. Even if I'm Sam, I am. I made a run for the body when. 
Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Where she put the hand? Maki's been banned for a month on Twitch. This is why they call me Calm Maki. Down. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Calm <laughs> down. How can you say that, Maki? Kaido is... I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait. It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangout. Yeah, he was sick. Yeah. Yeah. He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good a hide and seek he is, we can't let him get no. away with this. Wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, I need okay. to investigate the blood. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaido. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaido, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Why? Go and check Kokichi's room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if Kaido is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Don't say such a stupid thing, you little bitch. Kaido being the culprit is even more bitch. impossible than him being <laughs> dead. Of course, bro. I don't think Kaido would have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually. And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, couldn't control the exosols at will. He would have killed someone like that when he was sick of I don't- I still don't know. No. It's been 26 parts. I still don't know what I'm doing with this voice. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Um, I don't know. I just- I'm just saying it's possible. And, uh, and even if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaido is a culprit. No! So does that mean the culprit is one of us? One of us. <laughs> Wait, that's impossible! Yeah. It's been four no tries, you should know no one can be trusted. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, no no matter how shocking Kaido's death is, we're saying we're saying we're suspects going too far. <laughs> I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaido is dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. Okay, Naruto. I I can't I, mean, I can't believe Sasuke is dead. Um <laughs> Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands. And reveal that truth in the trial. Wait, you didn't trust Mach you didn't trust Kiyu? No. <laughs> yeah, he has trust issues, bro. Tell me. So you wanna continue the killing Gosh. game? A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. A quest while. <laughs> I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. <laughs> bro, this is the weirdest he's looked. I you know. You're an impressive detective through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Yeah, he was acting creepy at the moment. Yeah, moment. Even, even a lie. <laughs> uh, that's right, I have to do this. Keep my promise to Kaido. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should yeah. investigate. But we already know the answer. But... We can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... Her hope was her boyfriend. My main concern is how Kokichi will react. We accuse him of being the culprit. If he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll there'll be nothing we can do. But no, I don't think so. Junko and Ashima cherish the killing game rules. So if the remnant of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Then then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. <laughs> That's true! Okay, Tweety Bird, I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is he accepting Kaido's death so well easily? Then. Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the body was discovered in the Exosol hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. That's it? That doesn't tell us anything. 
The, the, new, the victim is unknown? It doesn't even tell us that? It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit it's are. Decided. The culprit who killed Kaido is definitely no. Kokichi. Wait, Maki, it's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... but... Kaido told me. Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaido made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Yeah. So, yeah, we definitely haven't seen uh, Kokichi's lab at all, but we did find Rentaro's door, but we still couldn't go inside his room for huh? the fact that he's dead. So, uh, that sucked. Huh? Why? You what? Know. You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaido, back in Gunta's class trial. <sighs> You're being delusional. Get it together. You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Just ad lib that shit. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Oh, the blood turned blue. Um. There's something about the air in here that makes me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame or if I'm malfunctioning. Or if I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. I don't feel weird at all. It's gotta be because of the electro bomb. Kibo's an electronic appliance, after all. Don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go west outside. Really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. I didn't even do it with the voice on. Stop with the robophobia. <laughs> Kibo left the hangar swaying side to side of it. Okay, Ariana. I, ah, oh, you mm. son of a fish. That's right, we don't Then I think it. I'll start investigating too. Oh, you'll be okay by yourself? I can go no. with you if you want. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. <laughs> if the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. Chemical left in a hurry. <laughs> she went right there! <laughs> she left in a hurry. She went right there. I wonder if <laughs> the chemical suspects. Suspects who? Everyone, because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaido, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seriously? Even Jan Moses. <gasps> oh man, almost choked on my gin. <laughs> we were united toward the hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be that? That's why Kokichi killed Kaido. They just dropped our harmony. Okay, fifth. That's <laughs> <laughs> the musical episode. <laughs> because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaido? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi's going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate like us. Thought. In the end, we were all gathered Okay, Lincoln Kaido. Park. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Was that not Lincoln Park? In the end? It didn't even matter? Oh, in the end. No. Oh, I thought because, yeah, in the end, <laughs> no. yeah. I thought you were talking about yeah. separate us, bro. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, no. what? I didn't think if there was a spot for separate us, I couldn't think of one. So you jumped to in the end. <laughs> in the end, it didn't even matter. He was the one who came, it was keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaido, then we're completely caught in his trap. I was going to make a Fetty one. <laughs> <laughs> too many back to back. It's all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. Oh, you know that song? <laughs> <laughs> separate, I love it. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. We don't have much information to go on. That is true, yeah. It's all about hope. We, we gotta have hope. But... No point in standing around and complaining. I just have to do it. I can't with these puns. Bro, you couldn't even figure out that nothing was the right answer. Bro, I was going to make a pun with nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a pun with nothing. You know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? <laughs> you know that word? <laughs> Solve not. this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin oh. the investigation. Yeah, thank God. All right, here we go. Ray Vision. I'll start here. Is, okay, I thought... All right, I'm going to investigate every, inspect every piece of evidence here. Yeah, I'm going to say like... Okay. 
There's a sleeve sticking out of that press. It's definitely Kaido's post sleeve. In that case, the victim must be. I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. What is this? A blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. From the bathroom. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom. From the bathroom to the press. Hmm. This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. This is the place where Kaido was imprisoned. Kaido must have left some kind of no. clue here. No, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Damn, how do you get shit on the ceiling? Uh oh. The floor looks crazy. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total and blood on them. Uh, um, what is this? What happened here? Crossbow. A crossbow. This is one of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly. I've seen this before. The label has blood all over. I can't read it completely, but I can see the word poison. Could it be? Yeah, the word not poison is being blocked. <laughs> <laughs> and if it is poison, the bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with this case. Bro, he's so dumb, bro. Like, ever since we saw your lab, bro, your poison has shown up in multiple places. Exactly. And like, I know Maki's whole thing was like, well, Probably can't uh, get rid of it because it'll get replenished. Exactly. All right, fucking lock it. Turn the thing around. Yeah, a blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from there to the door. What could this mean? Anything else in here? Bro, I could not see that. <laughs> I couldn't see that for sure. Uh, this case. There's no black yeah. case over there. Yeah, that's where the crossbow comes from. Mm -hmm. This is the case from before, right? Yep. That is still the craziest toilet I've ever seen. That is. Small window for ventilation, that is. Bro, you know what kind of toilet that is? What kind of toilet, bro? Combustible. Oh. <laughs> that is. Lydia, uh... we're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> That is a <laughs> deep reference in the Boston lore. <laughs> Has no relevance to anything you've heard on stream. <laughs> There's something from before. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able yeah. to fit through here. I wonder if if someone could fit through. Kaido would have escaped by now. Perhaps too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Oh, Bathroom like window. Chemical? Check. There are more clues. Uh, why is the crossbow here? And the three bloody arrows. These arrows are definitely from the crossbow, but why are all three bloody? And that bottle of poison, what could that have been used for? To hmm. clear the toilet. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. It's all in the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is mm. exposed. Damn. Crazy. That hell look on the inside, huh? <laughs> huh? It's small, but <laughs> big enough for one person. <laughs> <laughs> You're horny! Oh. Huh? The cockpit's open? <laughs> How strange! How strange. <laughs> 
Only the modern cups can turn up the electronic lock and open up the hatch. All the monocubs? You mean your dead children? Yeah. Normally, the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Well. Normally being the key word. But because of the electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope. No one asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. <laughs> An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, you could control the exosol. Okay. Wash I don't think I need to look at that. This is a car wash. You know that song? Shark Tank? These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a cross body, no matter who it is. All right. But I have to do it. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, but the press Why? still wouldn't move. It's strange to move when I pressed it last time. Shark Tail is a good move. No, it's not. Can you I was looking around the press I found. <laughs> power cord is cut. I see there's no power to the hydraulic press mm. won't move. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Hydraulic press. I'm also a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Just taking a look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you use this. Well. well, if the culprit was planning with this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have, should have had a safety function. Right. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. If the inference, so yeah. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried it before. But Kibo's not a person. Yes, yeah, right. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Stop automatically, huh? Safety function. Oh, uh, no, bro, you're good. We're about to have a bad thunderstorm tonight, and I gotta make sure I get more sandbags. Yeah, bro. I do not want to clean this fucking basement again. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press, it's definitely Kaido's coat sleeve. In no. that case, the victim must be. I well, I think we could be. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna make that joke earlier. <laughs> I didn't know. Not only the sleeve sticking out, no part of the body's. a victim's body is visible. But they crushed completely so that only the sleeve remains? What is this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Apart from the arrow, hole in the sleeve. What could this be? I suppose that's all I can deduce. I can't check the body so I don't have any clues to work with. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. Monokuma file this time barely has any information okay. at all. Jeez. Yeah, 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 it won't be much use to us. It's so useless, like me. He probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. That's nice. It's fine. A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and a peace of mind. Oh, <laughs> what the? Geez. What an attention hog. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than plain Jane Smoogie over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Uh, advertising? No. What are you advertising? Ignore it. Let's yeah. focus on the investigation. <laughs> I see. 
The red exosol is completely hey, still. <laughs> it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn no. apart. It shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocups or Kokichi. It's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Don't scare me like that. With my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh. Kokichi, I'm gonna touch your junk with my magic, okay? But I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Why didn't you say so soon? I'll put my magic away. That is if Kokichi is still alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Oh, he's oh. We have to talk to her. I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaido's death. No. That's not. I don't want to hear your excuse or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me, I'll give you apple head with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? What the fuck else is there to check? A fucking paint machine? Looks like a machine used to paint exosols. It looks the same as before. Probably not related to the case. Okay, I'm just gonna press the and everything, bro. Do it, bro. We've already checked. Yeah. Oh, did, what the fuck else is there to... The fuck is that? Oh my god, I don't see that. The panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn the back on though. We've already examined this sir, we've examined that. Mm hmm We examined the washing machine, there was nothing there. Nope. We examined Did you look at the red one? But yeah, I already looked at the red one. Oh, I must have missed that. That was when, uh... She said... Oh, what? No. Wait. Oh. Okay. You did it, bro. We did it. Help me see my... The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electro bomb. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Okay. I was worried before. I'm glad you're feeling better. There's something I needed to hey. ask Kibo. Hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... Flashback. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You trying to talk to him? Yes, yeah, so I'm still using the little bug voice. Sorry, I thought I would prefer for him to release him peacefully. How'd it go? It didn't go as well. But I did witness uh -huh. something. You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Uh, yes, since we were in a hurry, I told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. You said that the Exosols could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the exit, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. You saw um, someone? I saw Himiko. Ooh. Ooh. I knew I my was in magic. Lab, trying to think oh. what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking. He could see the, the that from his lab. something in her hands. <laughs> I think it was a black bag. A black bag. I. At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things replete with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started getting a little suspicious. What did you see? I saw you, bitch. She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not what I want to suspect her, it's just... True. Hey. It is suspicious. You said you saw her come back as well. <laughs> Was she holding the bag at the time? Well, 
Now that I think about it, she didn't. But she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be that black bag um, chemical carrying was. By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, but. What is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Okay. Uh, right, that must be it. I think Himoko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Sensitive boys account. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. With an electro, we hit it with an electro hammer, so it isn't operational That's right now. True. That's right. Where are these marks here? Looks as if it had been struck with something sharp. What could these be? Hmm. Wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Get near the control panel to cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you can even get close. So how did this person who get this? So how did the person who did this get so close to the control panel? Bro, too many words. I know, right? They gotta trim it down. They do. Don't they know who we are? That's right. We're illiterate. Yes. We're rough. <laughs> the exit hall isn't showing any signs of moving. Kokichi's alive and use his remote control to move him as he pleases. But that remote control Kokichi has for the exit hall, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? We know you can. You can barely speak. <laughs> Bro, bro can read nothing. <laughs> there it is. There's an electro hammer here, but why? That's out of power. It must have been used. But used for what? Well, be careful. The electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you're gonna use it against an exosol to run out of juice with just one shot, got it? If I remember correctly. If the electro hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to uh, recharge. We know that for certain. Use electro hammer. I remember the site I saw yesterday. Exosol's protecting Monokuma for some reason. Or are they protecting Monokuma? All four of them too. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Pay attention, listen up, take oh. heed, I say. Monokuma? It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? You were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video no store. But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone going there is the Wait. same... No, not that. I meant like the Exosols not attacking us. Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey. Um... Their movements are more limited now that the Monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Now? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the exosols, yeah. but they weren't. They were focusing hey. on Monokuma. Why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Mm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. That's all I can tell you. By the way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download them. It's like trying to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. <laughs> this information about the exosols could be a clue to solving this case. I sure remember this. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> you know, one of the great things about, uh, Monokuma is that you don't you don't even have to fucking ad lib. He's just sick. He's sick on his own. A little pest. He is. Maybe we have our own little pest. Yeah, Rosa. This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. I knew it. 
That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. Do it. I did this all backwards. The hangar shutter. <laughs> there's, a, there's a security alarm there. You have to use the alarm remote to disable to get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, Allow alarm to go off around the entire academy. You have to use an electro bomb to disable the sense from the alarm. That's how we got into the hangar. A lot of monologuing from Shuichi so far this chapter. I have to say I'm not a fan. <laughs> well, most of the people are gone now, bro. I know, I know. Yee it's not exactly a bomb, though. Even if it's called an electro bomb, it jams with electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave behind any debris. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three. So, I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammer. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs made. One was stolen by Maki, but what are the other two? That's about all I was concerned with in the hangar, but I don't have enough. There have to be more clues. The other places that might yield some more clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom, oh, the what? bottle of poison. I should also investigate the three exit cells that are protecting Monokuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? They were on autopilot. Might be related to the case as well. Oh, I already, yeah, we already... That's what I said. I, I did it out of order. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta walk out of here? Okay. No way. There's gotta be a reason why. Probably something's gonna... It's gonna be him a call. They're gonna make me talk yeah. to the fuck. I did it! I was the killer. I killed him. Kuichi. He was a I wouldn't be. <laughs> okay, there's half. Uh... Where the hell is Maki's left? Oh my god. It says it. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. Damn, this beer makes me really want to have cheese. <laughs> Bro, I'm having cheese right now with my gin. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember before. Everyone's here, I hope you're all ready. Are those weapons? You went to my lab last night to find them, whatever. <laughs> it's, because, it's because Kaido had them. As I suspected, there are two black bags here identical to the ones in the hangar. There are cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. But there are two. When I was here with Kaido before, there were three of them. Wow. And I'm sure that Kaido didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly, it's fairly difficult to put the, cro uh, the crossbow together. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. No. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. Crossbow. The ultimate detective slab. That's right. Slab. Slab. Oh shit. Oh, well. What's wrong? No, I forgot to take somebody back. Oops. I'm bad at that. Unless it's Lucy. I don't know if you know she does. That's right. She does. She bites! Oh. Where's that from? I don't even know where that's from. 
A bottle of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so... A small bottle of poison I found must have come from here. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the other. You got COVID-9 in the bed? COVID-9, bro. Label says COVID-9 poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. It can be leather. I can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Drink it and find out. Yeah. There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? Oh, they're paper. These bottles say antidote. Oh. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know these were here. Bro, these are the worst fake names for these things. Knights. Knights hate, hate antidote. You said Arm a nightshade? Lock. Oh my god. Nightshade, hemlock, and arsenic. That's what it's supposed Bro. to be. Arsenic instead of arsenic? According Arsenic. to the labels, <laughs> each one of those only works on a specific poison. Well. I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poison. That must be true for antidotes. Unless you're playing Pokemon, there's only one kind of poison. Mm -hmm. COVID-9 and antidotes. This is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are, are for the Strike 9 poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? All right. I've investigated this room thoroughly. Didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaido is dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokiki is in death. Anakuma is still moving around. Bro, <laughs> and Kaido's clothes are pressed in the hydraulic press. Which means the victim no. must be too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time, I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something, I should check again. How would that be possible, bro? You let me leave. Yeah. What the fuck? Well. Depending on how long your monologues take, oh. you should almost be fine. I'm gonna do my best, bro. There you go. Cyber Courtyard. So I made this, uh. I made this gazpacho last night. Uh huh. So good. Is that what you post on your Instagram? Yeah. And, uh, that looked really good. Yeah, with some crab cake and some garlic and parmesan bread on the side. You know what I'm saying? All right, bro. I'm Go going, off. I'm going crazy. Chuichi. Also, I gained 10 pounds. <laughs> there you go. Which is good for me. That's right. Now, now Lizzo's gonna hate me though. That's right. That's right. You're gonna tell her that it all went into your uh, into your kakichi. <laughs> That's why it's so itchy. Hey, Luigi, <laughs> can you come with me? What happened? Is something wrong? Um, it's just a little itchy. Please hurry. He shouted quickly and ran into the bathroom. What are you talking about, Kibo? What do you want to show me in the bathroom, Kibo? <laughs> I'll show you my kakichi. Look at my kakichi. <laughs> <laughs> To the wow. Where did... Hey! Kiva, what are you looking at? Yes. Take a look at this. Those are hot clothes? It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's definitely no doubt these are cocks. <laughs> it's a condom. <laughs> Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. Why are they wow. soaked? Well, the toilet seat clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the yeah. first place? Yes, yeah, it was very brave of me because I'm made out of electricity. I could have killed myself. That's right. But thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, Clogging bro. The thriller. <laughs> Clogging through the hub. This isn't the time to hesitate. 
Hey, Ro, are you still here? Because uh, we have a sponsorship deal, but we need you. We need you to learn how to speak the right way. <laughs> well, no, no, no that, not that one. I, I was talking about your sponsorship idea. That website? Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ro, you, Ro, you want to work on the hub? Kokichi's <laughs> clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. That is not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what right. Bro, we're, we're getting sponsored from FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> so when you go to Mexico, you'll be all ready to meet your wife. There you go. Bro, he's never gonna go, bro. He keeps That's saying so he wants to go to Mexico. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. No, he wants to go. He, he just doesn't go. Look, bro, you go there. We'll help you download the app. We'll set your preferences for everything for you. You'll find the matches. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, we're bro. gonna put it for just 49 states. We're gonna include Hawaii, but just include uh, the other one that starts with the letter V. Oh, I thought you meant Alaska, but yeah. No. Vermont. Uh, That's right. <laughs> Thank you. It's something the matter. Please investigate. Okay. On game. Hey, bro, you oh, ever heard of Booking.com? Can't com? stop here. That's right. Booking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the one? Yes, bro. bro. Did you not? <laughs> yes. I've been so focused on the actual sponsors that you were talking about earlier that I forgot about the one that I proposed. Yeah. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. Booking.com. Booking Bro, oh. go watch a, go watch on YouTube and look at a uh, commercial for it. All right. It's like literally 10 seconds. All right. And you can probably find piece out why. together. Yeah. If you can't, bro, it's because you know nothing. Yeah. I made up my mind to grab Kokichi's soaked clothes and spread them open. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, huh? I thought I thought he wrote the same message twice. <laughs> There's a small hole in the back. Hey. Another small hole in the sleeve. Easier access. Hmm. It's the same size as the one on Kaido's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the hole too. Hey, what does this mean? <laughs> oh my god. New sponsor. It mean that he was attacked. Hey, That's right. Jelly. In that case. Jesus Christ. No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crossing the hydraulic press. Thank you. Kibo, thank you, thank you. This is a very important clue. Well. I'm on my hand. <laughs> oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. No. I could suck you off, though. <laughs> Your hands aren't clean either, though. Didn't he say he wasn't gonna shake his hand? Yeah. That was a weird line from Shuichi. Okay, open the dumbass. But if Kokichi was the one crushing the hydraulic press, where did Kaido go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going, even though the mastermind is dead? Um... Uh, if this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Uh, no, I want to smell your hand through his people matter, that is. Can you taste the flavor? <laughs> Kibo and I washed our hands in the sweat together and left the bathroom. Now I get it. Kibo was saying, your hands are dirty, I'm not shaking your hands, and you were saying, your hands are fucking dirty too, bitch. I see, I see. I just that makes sense. only because he dug his hand in the drain, I forgot that you touched the floor, bro. Booking.com. This man is on a fucking 20 minute delay. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah, your paycheck's gonna be on a delay. Fuck you, bro. That's right. Maki does not look happy. I'm gonna talk to Simone because she looks stressed. Oh my god, I did not know what the. Oh. <laughs> that surprised the shit out of me. Yeah, Medusa, <laughs> that's a. That, that's a crazy that actually. Because <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. No, I bro, see the I eyes now. Those are eyes that doesn't make it better. That's the shit out of me. That's horrifying. Kokichi! Hey, it's almost time for the class draw to start, right? Is no one able to find uh, Kokichi? Um, I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't be, uh, be in the hangar still. <laughs> or under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Seems like. I mean, your face says you want it's to think that, but 
It was just plain impossible. But Gigi's been manipulating us from the start. I can't believe someone like that could kill, be killed by Kaido. Of course, I don't mean to compliment Kokichi and make fun of Kaido or anything. I know, you're probably right. Shimuki has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is that? What kind of emo- oh, it's a, Wait, are these your own emotes, Medusa? Did you change them? I thought you had completely different ones. Hungry Snake, Derp Snake, and the other one's Boo Snake. That was crazy. <laughs> that looks wild. That looks wild. <laughs> That's but a I'm crazy certain that one of them must have. Especially if you look upside down. You know that clam duck thing? Yes, yes. Yeah. If you look oh upside my god, down. it does look like that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Casey's disappearance. Oh shit. It's time. Fastest investigation ever. It's about that. Please proceed to the shrine uh -oh. of judgment in the I was about to reference a song, but uh we can't. Because uh <laughs> the singer's under lawsuit right now, so. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaido, whoever's alive will be there. Then these are my free ones. Ah, okay. Nice. At the trial. At night. Oh. It's already starting. All of us, that means Kokichi will come too. Uh, okay. We could just go. See, you have so many normal looking ones, Medusa. Right, you yeah. picked all the ones that are like <laughs> most like phallic looking ones. <laughs> yeah, like I recognize the green one from your uh, Discord icon. I like the one with next to it with the pink stuff on his head. God, there we go. We gotta go to the piazza. Piazza. Oh my god. No my god. Else. And nobody else. <laughs> <clears throat> Only Chiron. This isn't everyone, uh, right? Um, Gotta win Kokichi on here. Point? I bet Kokichi is already there. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance that Kaido is alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? For real? Maki. Well, this is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know <laughs> I'll lose to despair. You don't know? Lose to despair. despair. Got him. Six of us will participate and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. That's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But... <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? Oh, I thought he was gonna... Oh, my bad. I know that we can't lose to despair. But something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaido would say at a time like this. See that? The police are in the background. <laughs> what would he say to us? Yeah, they're waiting to see who killed him. If it was Kaido. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Bumble, bumble, bumble. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know if they have that in Mexico, bro. Sorry. Yeah, bro. He's still trying to look up booking.com, bro. Yeah. Booking dot? Yeah. <laughs> He's still not gonna get it unless we told him that. <laughs> I know, we didn't say another we didn't say a word to one another. Thank god. Sound as a tomb, we stepped into those to open doors. Someone's a poet. Yeah. Call me Rock. I'm gonna go to Mexico for this watch. Alright. Do it, pussy. And and yeah, and do what, bro? We had lost the will to live knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. He watched three commercials, he didn't get what we were going for. <laughs> and now what do we know? I'm gonna start a cartel? Who's gonna listen? We don't even listen to you. 
Bro, we, we don't know what hope means to us anymore. And what is hope? A burden you bear? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna gather everyone at the bar and you're gonna start crying after five minutes. I don't need even my money! <laughs> <laughs> As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't <laughs> think about things that I like that anymore. That is so funny, bro. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Bro, he would have died in episode one of Breaking Bad. I know. Even, they don't even kill anybody. That's nice. Ah, uh -uh. a battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Fucking hate you all. <laughs> bro, we need you to say the words. Booking.com, booking. Yeah. Yeah, never, exactly. Never seen Breaking Bad. That's fine. Neither has Jim. Yeah. Yeah, this is truly a magnificent theme. Woohoo! All these theme works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on? What are you scheming now? It doesn't matter what Kokichi's scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know? Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll it end took this three commercials, bro. You need to do an edit of the... Yeah? From the one clip from Crab Chamber. Okay. We'll end with the cl this. We'll end with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair, no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death. Add a dash of life, 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 <laughs> lies and truth. Make it in fires of conflict. And when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. Wow. Oof. And once more, we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaido or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaido wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I will fight to prove it. Damn, he's in purple. And him goes right. drunk as fuck. I lose him. I will fight with everyone. To grasp the hope on the other side of the street. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> what did I do? Huh? What did I say? I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Well, Lucy, where are you going? Come back. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, so that was a very quick investigation. I think. It this video probably would have been quicker if you know we weren't so funny. I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> if we didn't make fucking You're not wrong. Yes. You're not wrong. Um, That's right. But uh, I guess I guess like there's the obvious question like who's in the press? Do you think it's do you think they're trying to gaslight us into thinking that it's Kokichi or do you actually think it's Kaido? Like what do you think? I, I do think it's Kaido. I do okay. think it's Kaido. I'm still interested in knowing why Kokichi's clothes were in the toilet. He um, yeah, <laughs> he's the third. Bro, he's he's gonna show up naked like Gollum. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. Uh, I guess he's. I think he's gonna show up because Kaido is dead, but I still don't think Kokichi killed him. I'm still okay. going with there was somehow whether it was via illness or suicide or something that he wasn't killed. He took his own life somehow, okay. or he just died somehow. Okay. That's so my. You, guess. So you don't suspect anybody else? No, like, I don't. No. Okay. So you think like that whole no. Himiko thing is like a red herring kind of thing? Yeah, I think maybe Himiko was the one who brought the crossbow. Maybe like Kaido was like, "Can you bring it here?" Mm. You know, for whatever reason, maybe. But uh, I think that's a whole red herring. I also still don't think that uh, Kokichi is the mastermind. I don't. Okay. Well, like, yeah. I could see it being multiple people. Like, I really could, you know? Right. Like, I could see it being... Like, Kibo being the mastermind would be hilarious. 
if it was like Kokichi being like on the mastermind, it was actually his like enemy his kind robot, of throughout the yeah. entire game. And yeah, so it being the robot Kibo. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's Maki because like Maki would make the most sense of anyone to be the mastermind because she's like the assassin or whatever. Mm. Um, Himiko would be the most funny because mm. then, I, then I could voice her as like an actual adult. Um, <laughs> you thought I was just a pooty cat, um, <laughs> and then. Uh, I guess my dark horse would be Sumugi because that would be like the one that will come out of nowhere. I just don't think it's going to be Kai, uh, uh, Kokichi. Um, but anyways, those are my two main guesses. It's not Kokichi as a mastermind, but Kokichi's still alive. And uh, number two is that Kaido is the one that's dead and that he took his own life somehow. Like, or he just didn't get killed. And your, your hope is that Himiko is the mastermind. Your dark horse is Sumugi and it would be... Good It'd be funny, funny if, it was, if it was Kibo. No, I think I think it would be funny if it was Himiko from like a voice acting perspective. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I think in a way it would kind of be fitting if it was Kibo because mm. if you could, then you could spin it as like, oh, if you you know you thought I was a robot the whole time, I was actually the mastermind the whole time. That'd be kind of funny. Right. Um, yeah. But I feel like the the dark horse, it's like kind of always like the quiet, not always the quiet one. We've only had three games, um, but I feel like. Knowing how Dongan does things, it could be the quiet one and like right. the unsuspecting one, you know. Mm-hmm. Like we saw, it's funny. Like the nurse in the last game, I keep forgetting the nurse's name in the last game. But you voiced Tsumugi the way you voiced her. Um, she had like that crazy, like evil side. Right, I could right. see that kind of manipulate or manifesting itself um, with Tsumugi. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll say Tsumugi is like very interesting to me, only in that regard. But I could really see arguments made for anyone. That isn't named Suichi or Monkey. Oh, I was going to say even Suichi, but no. They, no, 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 no. Imagine no. doing that twice. Yeah, that would be crazy. He's also not yeah. smart enough. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in the, like, as a fourth dong and, like, making you the mastermind, but you don't know. Well, but you, they kind of do that with two, right? Like, you are technically the ultimate despair guy. You just lost your memory, but I think, yeah, you know, kind of doing six chapters of like the Kaede uh story of just you mm-hmm. doing stuff and you don't even realize that you're the fucking mastermind for a full game i think that would take like a lot of effort uh, it would have to take a lot to really pull that off uh but i think that's realistically the only other place you can go yeah i think so because like by the end of this like they've done so much <laughs> like in terms of like all the different twists and turns that you can get within this series, so that would be the last one. But uh, all right, that's the end of part twenty six. Part twenty seven, twenty eight is gonna be chapter five, class the trial. Trial. I'm assuming it's gonna be two parts because uh, it's been two parts this whole time. It would be really that's weird right. if it wasn't. But if you are watching this on YouTube, I finally put a title and thumbnail on it, so. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Until then, peace.